Welcome to Road to WrestleMania, WWF Raw for Super Nintendo. One of my all-time favorite wrestling games I played when I was a kid. So this came out in 1994 when Raw was still in its like first or second year. And I like how they did the intro right here, exactly how Raw opened back then. Welcome everyone to Monday Night Raw! Hello everyone, I'm Vince McMahon, along with Jared the King Lawler. Shut up, man! Your toupee is getting receding hairline! <laughs> Alright, good times. And so Raw, definitely one of the best wrestling shows ever. Still around today, 20-something years later. So here's the characters. Well, uh, well for, uh, forget, I'll show the characters later. I'm just going to go ahead and get started here. With the mammoth Yokozuna against the feed arm of the World Wrestling Federation. The Undertaker. Oh, big body drop on Yokozuna. Yeah, right. Wow. That would have broke the ring. Now, I am real rusty at this game. But I know there's like some mega moves um, that you can do. And I freaking don't remember how to do it. So I might not display it here. But I am going to show as many special moves as I can. I'm going to play as all the characters, only the ones that I definitely know how to do the special moves to. And just busted Yokozuna to have the chair as I failed right there to get back in the ring. Come on. All right, the Undertaker and Yokozuna had a big feud in 1994. Survivor Series 94 is the very first pay-per-view ever watched. Chuck Norris was a special guest referee or special guest enforcer at ringside. During the Undertaker Yoko's in a casket match. So that was good stuff. One. Come on, kick out. The controls, you might think, would be the same as the Royal Rumble games. Not quite. I mean, kind of. You notice I picked it on the one difficulty here. It's the grappling system can still be challenging. <laughs> What's the matter, Yoko's in you, you look a little pale. Oh, come on. That's, uh, I guess Henry Godwin's slot bucket. Yeah, the grappling system, pretty much the same as the previous wrestling games. It's just that, for some reason, I don't know if it's my ROM or what's going on, but when I put it, like, right here, it's giving me a hard time. I have it on easy. Like, it shouldn't be that hard. Look at that. It's got chunked like a rag doll. Now getting choked like a rag doll or, wait, like choked like I'm getting choked as if I'm in the Taz mission and it's got slammed on the ground no mats out there oh, bring it back in the ring here oh, I guess he hit the uh there's too close to, to the to the uh turnbuckles oh nice he got slopped All right. There it is, Tombstone Power Driver. Tombstone on Yokozuna. Yeah, right. Look at Jerry the King Lauder and Vincent Man's expressions. He got him, big man. What a maneuver. Look at the crowd. You can hear them going wild, but they're not doing anything. They're, they look dead. That's not an ECW crowd. That right there, the Undertaker. That face looks like my dad's. All right, moving on here. Gonna pick Breath the Hitman Heart. Oh, going up against Big Daddy Cool Diesel. What a matchup this promises to be here on Monday Night Raw. Bret Hart and Diesel had their match at Survivor Series 95, where Bret Hart regained his WWF Championship. Can Diesel get revenge here tonight? Come on, jeez. I remember wanting to get this game when I was a kid, and I called Toys R Us, Target, Walmart, and at the time, Target was selling this game for $79.99. Now, I was like a 13, 14-year-old kid, and I'm like, man, what? I can't afford that. I did have a little bit of money to save my allowance, but I look at Diesel hitting the referee. Nice. Hit him. 
No disqualifications, I guess. That's both hit. I mean, there we go. <laughs> so I was saying, I was trying to buy this game back in 94, and it was too expensive at Target, so I ended up ended up getting it at Toys R Us for $39.99, I believe it was. And man, me and my friends play this game a lot. And I said this before in previous videos, me and my friend Swindoll, we played the Royal Rumble match for like five hours straight. It was so freaking awesome. All right, Jerry the King Lord are freaking out. They're hitting the referee. Oh, they're hitting the referee, man. man. Oh, the, re the referee is down. The referee's been knocked down, King. And, of course, Jerry Lauder and Bret Hart had their long feud. Oh, referee's back up. Oh. Dude, Diesel <laughs> over the ring. Oh, over the ring. Over the ropes like he was nothing. Oh, and referee Charles Bronson goes down again. A test of strength here, which Diesel will clearly win. Oh, getting choked now. And there's no referee to see it. Referee unconscious. Wait. He's back up, King. Oh, shoot. Oh, wow. Somehow I won that test of strength. Oh, drop kick right to the face. I'm trying to knock out the referee here. We don't need no ref. Get him out of here. Come on, come on. Come out here and have a seat. <laughs> Diesel don't want the referee to be around either. Why don't you bring the chair, the pail bucket in, and hit the referee? That'll knock him out. Jeez, that referee's getting smart. He's moving out the way. Jeez. Nice. Knocked both of them down. Oh, but Diesel gets up. Oh, just chunked Diesel out of there like he was nothing. Come on over here, Diesel. I got something on my bucket list, and that's to beat you. Oh, I got some chair. Oh, and this is around the year where ECW was getting popular. So, imagine that in a 16-bit ECW game. All right. Once again, just chunk Diesel over the top rope. He was nothing. Referee still unconscious. Wait a minute, he's back up. Oh. Sharpshooter's got the sharpshooter. Diesel taps out. Diesel gives up to the sharpshooter. Back then, I didn't know Vince McMahon was the owner. I don't think anybody did. If you're a fan, you thought Vince McMahon was just a regular commentator, and I thought Jack Tunney was the man in charge. Turns out President Jack Tunney was just a storyline president. All right. Choose next here, of course, Big Daddy Cole Diesel against Made in the USA Lex Luger. At least it's not the narcissist. This is around the time Lex Luger, yeah, he was still there. He didn't leave WWF until late 1995, where he made his debut on the first Nitro. I remember that. Me and my friend were shocked. It's Lex Luger. What is he doing in WCW? All right, Big Daddy Cole Diesel against the. What they were hoping to be the next Hulk Hogan, <laughs> Lex Luger, which did not work out. Like I said, I like the total package, Lex Luger. I, I know he wasn't the greatest worker or wrestler, but I, I liked the total package. I never liked Made USA the Narcissist. Oh, jeez. This is pathetic. You see that? Diesel ran to the referee, and the referee knocked him down. That is BS. Wrestling's fake. All right. Oh, big back body drop. I guess I'll just put myself in the corner like an idiot. Nice. Shut up, ref. That's for knocking me down earlier. All right, Diesel with a drop kick. Yeah, right. Stomping a mud hole in him now. Get back out there, Lex. Get on the Lex Express and get out of here. You too, ref. Oh, jeez. The heck, I look like I'm running around like an idiot. Oh, nice. All right, come on, let's fight out here. Jeez, come on. Nice. Ah, oh, boo. Oh, he's saved up. He's saved up. 
that's not an ECW referee. One of the referees one time in ECW, everybody was jumping all over the top rope and onto their opponent on the floor. The ref, one of the referees had enough. He jumped off the top rope and landed on some of the wrestlers. He was like, I told y'all, get back in the ring. So the referees are hardcore sometimes in ECW. He likes Luger just trying to give the big boot. You're not big enough for that. You're not, I mean, not as far as height. <laughs> the, the, the expressions on Jerry Lauder and Vince McMahon. Pretty much the same animations as Bobby Heenan and Vince McMahon from the Royal Rumble games. At least they're showing some excitement on like the crowd. I mean, the 8-bit crowds from freaking pro wrestling and tag team wrestling look more animated than this. I mean, as far as like, look like they actually care. All right. That's because in 1994, that was not the best year for WWF. That was when it kind of sucked and WCW was starting to bubble up in popularity. That's because Hulk Hogan left and went with them. 94 was when Hogan went to WCW. All right, it's time to finish off Lex Luger here. <laughs> oh, that's what I get for playing around. Oh, he hit the ropes. Oh, wait. <laughs> the referee's had enough. The referee's had enough, King. Now it's a free-for-all. Whoever has no energy, well, well, Luger already has no energy, but now, starting now, the referee is gone. And it's one. What? Ha! <laughs> that counts as a hit. Throw back in the ring, and I already won. <laughs> when the referee leaves, it becomes a brawl. Whoever loses the energy first loses, but that's after the referee leaves. So... Lex Luger was in danger right there. He was destined to lose. So, And dang it, I wanted to show the Jack Knight powerbomb. Didn't get to do that. Doink the Clan. I love Doink. I don't care what anybody says. X-Pac. I picked Diesel again because I want to show the Jack Knight powerbomb. Oh, he's going to face fellow outsider, Reza Amol. The Outsiders... The Outsiders going to face each other again. It's Halloween Havoc all over again. All right. Let's, let's fight outside. Come on. Get the Jack Knight Powerbomb outside. That'd be cool. Oh. Razor Amol. Got Pwn right there. I loved Razor Amol. I remember he, he used to do those vignettes where he would be a jerk to waitresses and like get mad and knock stuff over. Hey, man, I didn't order this, man. And then some girl walked up to him. She said something about, we had a date the other night. You didn't call me. He's like, well, sorry, Chica. Looks at the camera and says, Chicas, they for fun, man. <laughs> oh, what a douchebag heel, but he was so cool based off Scarface. Yeah, Razor Ramon was cool. All right, Jack Knight Powerbomb. Oh, he's got him. Oh, he's going to win in style. Yokozuna against Brett the Hitman Hart. These two have faced off before as well. Oh man, Yokozuna going to work on Bret Hart already. Yokozuna with a drop kick. Nice. Oh, ECW. It's like Brett kicked the bucket. I never played Raw for the Genesis. I should probably take a look at that on YouTube and see what that looks like. Oh. Even though it seemed like Sega Genesis would get more characters or more better special characters not just in wrestling games but in other sports games as well oh nice belly to belly suplex what do you want to call that overhead belly to belly suplex Scott Steiner called and wants his moves back yeah 
Oh, man, just chunks Jokerson, his 500-pound ass over the top rope. And Brett's getting stomped. Oh, what? Whoa. I was about to do the classic uh, 10 punch on the turnbuckles. How do you do the bonsai drop? Why don't you hit R1 in the corner? Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. On bonsai. Yes, here we go. Nice. And this is a squash match. Yokozuna's soothing massage parlor music. Bam, I mean, bam, bam, bam Bigelow. Who did wrestle in ECW for a little bit? Oh, here we go. Bam Bam Bigelow versus Undertaker. Oh, into the guardrail. Bam Bam Bigelow, who made his appearance in Major Pain. They should have the Undertaker rise up. I think he did that in WrestleMania, the arcade game. When he gets up, he rises up like he's rising up from the dead. I wish it would have him do that here, too, but maybe because of the sprites in this game and maybe it's limited and how you can move, I don't know. Oh, hit the rope. He landed on the mat, then it was like landing on the mat then hit the rope, then got back, got knocked back down the, on the mat again. Now, Bam Bam Bigelow doing a drop kick, that is believable because he was one of the best agile big men in the business alongside Vader and the big boss man. Imagine Andre the Giant doing a drop kick. Wow, oh, there's the Bam Bam Bigelow headbutt, and that's it. I wonder who did that first, Chris Benoit or Bam Bam Bigelow? Oh, I guess Bam Bam Bigelow because Chris Benoit doesn't exist. Who is next? All right, I'll go ahead and use him. See what I can do with Made in USA, Lex Luger. Against the King of Hearts, Owen Hart. Well enough, that's enough, and it's time for a change. I remember Jason Sensation making fun of Owen Hart. I know I'm late, but my nose got here 10 minutes ago. Woo! What the heck? Oh, idiot, you clumsy drunk. Get in there. Now, let's look at his finishing move is the running forearm, which is lame. Stupid. Unfortunately, it's not the torture act. Hart, the ones who's getting stomped. All right, I'm going to go ahead and try to do the running forearm here. I guess you throw him and you got to run after him, hold R1 at the same time, which I just failed at doing. Come on, run, you idiot. No wonder you lost your push and didn't become the next Hulk Hogan. You suck. No, that's all my fault here. I'm just filling out the controls. Ah, why'd I stop running like an idiot? Come on, full steam ahead. Jeez, idiot. Don't run into him. Hit him with the four. Hit it R1. Oh, there it is. Nice. All right.
now I'm going to play as Owen Hart. The tables have been turned this time. Owen Hart's player one. I think Owen was the youngest of, geez, what, 12 children? Man. Owen Hart's a pretty good wrestler. He's a pretty good heel, too. I was, I was real sad when he died. I watched that pay-per-view when it happened. I mean, for those of you who don't know, he didn't show him dying, but um, they were showing a video package at the time, and then while that was going on, that was when uh, Owen Hart fell and hit the turnbuckle from like 70 feet in the air, and that really sucked. But Owen Hart, man, he was, uh, I think he was an underrated wrestler, honestly. I mean, I never liked him back then as a character, but yeah, he was definitely good in the ring, and he was a good heel, especially when he turned on his brother and he had classic matches with his brother. That was good stuff. Oh, nice close line. Yeah, I definitely like the King of Hearts. I, I would prefer the King of Hearts better. I didn't like, I never really got into Owen Hart. But I would prefer the King of Hearts character over the, the Rocket Owen Hart or the Blue Blazer. All right, the sharpshooter now, Lex Luger gives it up. And Owen Hart was the 1994 King of the Ring. One year after his brother, Brett. He had cool interest music, too. I, actually, I did. There was a time where I really was digging Owen Hart. And that was when he turned face and feuded with DX after the whole Hart family went to WCW. So that was cool. And I got to see Owen Hart wrestle live when they came to Raw, Waco, Texas, back in 1997 or 98. Now I'm playing as Doink the Clown here. I love Doink. I don't care what anybody says. I remember a friend of mine, oh, Doink never happened. Yes, he did happen. He was cool. He was funny, too, especially when he was a face. And he feuded with Jerry the King Lauder and those major wrestlers, Sleazy, Cheesy, and Queasy, against Doink's team of Doink, Dink, Wink, and Pink. And they got Jerry Lauder in the end when Doink threw a pie in his face, and that was cool. See, I like Doink, and I'm going to do his finish move here, the whoopee cushion. I guess you can say Doink the Clown is an ECW Krusty the Clown. All right. Doink is getting the last laugh here. All right, come on, Doink. Let's finish him. This is no laughing matter. Now, I don't mean Hugh Morris's finish move. There we go. Whoopee! Right. Nice. Right, let's move on. All right. Time to pick Luna Vachon. Like his breath the Hitman Heart. Yeah, Luna was one of the toughest women wrestlers ever. Sable <laughs> tonight. <laughs> In the storylines, Bam Bam Bigelow's girlfriend. Oh, she's getting choked out. What's he doing, McMahon? He can't choke a woman, McMahon. Ah. Yeah, but Luna's a tough woman. She's one of the members of the Oddities, along with Kurgan and Golga and all them. And ICP. How are you going to botch a stomp? Only I could do that. All right. Okay, her move is the Lunar Eclipse. Oh, there it is. Okay, so it's like a back elbow drop. That's a half ass version of the Macho Man's elbow. And that's it. All right, time to pick 
Reza Amo. Against Doink. What a matchup that would be. Razor Ramon and Doink. I don't know if they wrestled each other or not. Anyway, here we go. Oh. This is a classic Razor Ramon fall away slam. What the heck? Come on. Dang, hit the wrong button. Oh, man, I just got pwned by Doink with the pail bucket. That's a weird object to put on ringside. Like, during wrestling, when you watch wrestling, it's, yeah, you see chairs and tables, but a bucket? I mean, Henry Godwin is not in this game. Once again, hits the mat, then hits the ropes and hits the mat. Dang it. All right, time to stop clowning around here. Mm. Oh, idiot. Did the back body drop? Oh, nice clothesline. There it is. Outside, outsider's edge. Razor's edge. What? He just totally no sold the Razor's Edge. That's lame. Come on. Get out of here. Learn to sell. Sell that. One, two, three. Yeah, Chico. All right, you're one of the bad guy, Razor Ramon. All right, it is now time for the Royal Rumble match. Who will I pick here? Well, you know what? I'm going to let the CPU fight again. Forget this. I'm going to let the CPU fight again. Lex Luger, I'm sorry. You're the chosen one again to lose. Get out of here. Come back and do the total package. All right. Oh, Lex Luger to start things out with Luna Vashon, that lunatic. So if Luna Vachon is from the other side of darkness, I guess the Undertaker is from the opposite side of that. All right, so Shawn Michaels now in the ring. Bret Hart, the Undertaker. Uh, one, two, three, kid. Getting pwned by Luna Vachon already. So in 1994, it was a tie between Lex Luger and Bret Hart. They both got eliminated at the same time. The same way Batista and John Cena got eliminated at the same time in Royal Rumble 2005. All right, Luger's out there already. Nice. All right, now it's time to rumble. If that was late. That bell means someone's been eliminated. I guess it means someone else is coming in. I don't know. Now he comes Big Daddy Cool Diesel in. So the Undertaker won the Royal Rumble SNS version. Crush won the Genesis version. Who's going to win the Raw SNS version of the Royal Rumble? And Linda Vachon's not the first woman won this game. Um... She is, like in 1994, but the first woman to ever enter the Royal Rumble is China. China entered the 99 Royal Rumble, got eliminated by Steve Austin. Karma, a few years ago, entered the Royal Rumble. I think she eliminated Michael Cole, if I remember correctly. Oh, double time of drop. Oh. 
Oh, nice overhead belly belly suplex. Oh, he did, she did it again to X Pac. He's out of there. Man, Luna just manhandled X Pac. All right. The big man Yokozuna is in. Oh, these are pointing Luna. Whoa. Did Bret Hart eliminate the Undertaker? Wow. Oh, here comes Bam Bam Bigelow, Luna's boyfriend. This should be interesting. If you stay on the top turnbuckle, you can't knock off the, somebody. Oh, Shawn Michaels got knocked off. He's out. Oh, here comes Joint the Clown. Bret Hart is out. Owen Hart is in. I think it was Owen Hart that caused. Uh, Owen Hart did something to Bret Hart 95 at the Royal Rumble. Owen Hart gets eliminated real quick. Bret Hart comes back out there and starts beating up on him. Good stuff. Oh. Man, Luna's getting pulled now. She's the first two in there. Can she go the distance? Man, Luna just did a overhead belly to belly suplex on Yokozuna. ECW. Luna should have wrestled in ECW. Uh oh, domestic violence going up, going on in here. Pam Pam Bigelow and Luna Vachon now going at it. Oh, and Pam Pam Bigelow just dumped Luna. All right, so that relationship is over. Bam Bam Bigelow and Doink going at it now. They they had a feud with each other back around this time. I said, I think all the participants are in there. Oh, Diesel. Owen Hart just eliminated Diesel? Wow. Fonzo around, He's freaking blowing the whistle. Ah, not Reza Amal. He's out. Oh, what? That was awkward. Oh, Doink is out. It's just these three now. Oh, it's just two big men now. Oh, it's just one big man now. Bam Bam Bigelow wins. Wow. Bam Bam showed up. He's on fire. Bam, bam. All right, so Bam Bam Bigelow is the winner of the WWF Raw SNES version. By eliminating, he, the two people eliminated was his girlfriend and Yokozuna. Nice. All right, so that does it for Raw for Super Nintendo. Really loved playing this game. One of my top favorites growing up as a kid playing this game so yeah definitely ecw and again i loved watching the cpu going at it royal rumble just to see who would win awesome stuff all right guys that is it i am out of here stay tuned on the road to wrestlemania god bless and take care